Hello guys, welcome to Let's Talk Diesel. In today's video, we are gonna check it out the newest SER box for trucks for Freightliner trucks uh, from 2020 and above. As you can see in this overview, you can entirely see that this uh, box is completely different than the other ones right now so we're gonna start checking the uh the inlet side of the box and then we're going to the outlet side all right so as you can see this is the uh the inlet uh the inlet part of the box we cover it so those will not go inside actually this is a chassis for uh for a 2021 uh, truck so I had the opportunity to show you uh, better how the box looks like so this is the first thing you're gonna see okay as you can see this is the harness the main harness that comes from the ACM as you can see this is the other connector that goes to the engine it's not here right now I believe no so this is the main harness as you can see this is the one that takes the signal to the uh, different parts of the SCR box so if we follow all right again this is the beginning you can see first you notice this is one the first connector in here this one is for the DOC inlet temperature sensor you can see it over there all right this one the you see here is for the doc inlet pressure sensor okay and it's connected to the uh, dpf delta pressure sensor over here all right and the other connector and the other sensor that you see is the famous uh, inlay inlet or intake knock sensor and then if we follow it will be around this area in here okay now there is another connector in here okay the if we follow you see it is here in the middle so this is the DPF or DOC outlet or DPF inlet temperature sensor, all right? And it's the only sensor you will see on this area in here, okay? These sensors that you see here is for the lane departure uh, feature. And uh, I will not talk about this on this video, maybe in another time but just to have a rough idea what you're seeing right now. This cover that you're seeing here with these bolts, these stands, is to remove the DPF filters. Unfortunately, at this time, I haven't been able to see how they look or if they are about the same thing like the older filters. But if I had the chance, I'm gonna make another video about that, all right? So, this is the first thing you will see on this side for this SCR box, All right? Now we're going to the side, to the outlet side. As you can see, the outlet is over there. This is the outlet. So first, you can see the DEF injector. You see the lines in here, the blue lines. Usually, if you see these lines, this, mean, this means this is the DEF injector, okay? And we have the, conne the connector in here, very clean because it's brand new. You can see this is the uh, DPF outlet temperature sensor. This box does not come uh, with the SCR inlet temperature sensor anymore. They got rid of that. I, if you see the, uh, if you check with the laptop, 
you can see this the SCR temperature in the inlet temperature is still checking on the truck but I think I think they calculate that uh, with the algorithm and all that kind of stuff so that's the reason why it reads with the computer but there is no actually sensor for that okay next we can see the, the PM or suit sensor okay you follow you will see there there are three sensors in there okay the one you see a minute guys so i can show you properly with the camera okay this one that you see here is the outlet knock sensor all right the bottom one is the ser outlet temperature sensor and the one way behind here at the end that one is the suit sensor the one we just were talking about a few moments ago so as you can see this and this design all three sensors are in the same spot for example one of the problems i believe we're gonna have is that if you need to remove the suit sensor uh you still have some space here on the back but not like before they were kind of uh, separate like in the older ones i believe the suit sensor was already built into the pipe at the end now the knot sensor comes in this and they put the the pm sensor here on this area around here but not there they changed that now we'll see later how it goes on this video i just want to show you how the you know the scr box looks and you can see here is the connector for the um for the knock sensor um i believe the uh, this design it's about the same like the other ones it's just in the older design you had the box uh, let me move you had the box around this area in here and you had to remove the cover to replace it now they just got rid of the cover i don't know if because uh the shortage we have on parts that's the reason we, they didn't put the cover as you can see i have checked a couple of the new new west cascades that we are getting and they don't actually come with the cover i believe maybe eventually they're going to install it and they're going to install it but i'm not sure so as you can see this is the way it looks your if you have a new uh 2020 or maybe 2021 uh, uh cascadia then my the scr box is gonna look like that all right so let me know what do you think in the comments down below uh let me see if i'm forgetting something i show you this is the connector for the uh, uh, DPF outlet temperature sensor. This one that you see here is for the SCR outlet temperature. Yeah. And these are the connectors for the uh, DEF lines, you know, for the heater lines. And you can see they just remove it as well. All right, guys. That will be that will be all for today. And again, you can see on the back. Uh, there's nothing nothing no sensors anymore on the back so that's good you don't have to be fighting to replace them so that will be for me today thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video bye